everybody hope you guys are doing well so let's get a message from the oracle decks that i'm using so we have animal dreaming we have our mausolea and the kali so spirit guides or anyone who is watching this video what messages can you give So we have the possum and frog mouth secret keeper. So with this being said, I really feel like the opportunity that you will have if you're seeing these animals or maybe possibly in the future, the secret keeper is an opportunity for you to prove your worth, to prove that you are open to keeping these secrets or having an opportunity that you have to keep secret because of the fact that people want to sabotage whether it be a person or a co-worker and just know that it will get easier with time so i want to ask what secret are they keeping what is the opportunity in finding the strength in keeping this and strengthening the ties that bind what is the secret In this deck specifically, this head, the severed head, is basically taking a head and putting it on somewhere else, right? So with this being said, you are finding that the fact that something didn't work out and now you have the ability to refine who you are. And everything that you do, it's to begin again. So basically it's like building yourself up again after disappointment dis opportunity or anything else so the secret is is change and transformation is about to begin and you have to keep this a secret because not everyone can come along for the ride not everyone can see what you were going through and it's sad that you have to keep that a secret but i'm hearing that the light at the end of the tunnel the glow up that you are about to have is going to be a profound effect on other people who are willing and like coming out of it so look we have a secret to village bid oh my gosh i can't even speak today vigilance and subterfuge so we have enchantress of the night we have nyx so with this you're tapping into your spirit you're tapping into the unknown and with this being said what is the secret besides transformation we have Karin and we have Nyx like I said your magic and your your journey is what you're you're tapping into and you're keeping a, a secret so for some of you I'm also hearing some of you maybe for a woman or say you've gotten someone pregnant or you're getting pregnant you're keeping this a secret um so the transition this transitional phase is figuring out what you want to do with your life and how you want to proceed with this um and like you can't avoid this forever you know because everything is going to happen for a reason so let's get some more messages so we have the black swan and the koala so this black, I'm sorry for the dog in the background. So we have the black swan. Sometimes we look at black swans as beauty and this is just basically, it stands out. This is saying to remember that you are meant to stand out and this, you know, koala is like, it's not always fuzzy. It's not always cute. Sometimes it's raw beauty and the less and it's raw aggression at the end of the day. So your inner journey to go inward is to pull out this grace and to accept your shadows, accept your being and accept that everything that you will see in this life, you will have. Look, we have transformation. Transformation is huge. <laughs> transformation is huge. So I wanna get more information on this transformation. What is this transformation? What is the secret of transformation? You're keeping the actual essence of transformation a secret. Okay. Look. So this is talking about the blending and the rising of Kundalini and pulling and merging. 
right? And you're coming out victorious, but I also want to tell you, for some of you that are going through astral projection, some of you may be having astral body experiences and, like, maybe sleep paralysis and it may be freaking you out. This is actually a learning lesson for you to tap into your spiritual abilities and know that this is completely normal for you to astral travel. And if you don't know how to do this, like, if you're new into spirit and you're learning to transition into spirit and whatnot, it could be freaky. Just know that your guides got you and they're not going to, so don't freak out. Just let it happen. Um, but I also want to tell you, like, some of you are tapping into this essence. Look, you are tapping into this sacred essence of this primordial, like, oomph. Like, I don't want to say it. it's like, it's sexy, you know what I mean? Like, belly dancing. It's like, I'm seeing someone move in a way, like, hands free, bellies free, for the moment, I'm seeing movement, so you need to practice the movement and allow yourself and just let yourself be unchained and, and, and flow. So just remember, you are guided and protected and your eyes are on the prize and everything that you can do and everything that you will achieve is from your greatest, greatest good. So there's evolution in this transformation that is happening for anybody who's watching this or you may have gone through this. So yeah, eyes are opening, the, the dead are resting. So dead the situations that are coming out because you know victory is on the horizon and there's no point of holding on to something that is going to keep you stuck because I kind of see in this, it's like there are two heads and two faces to everything, right? But in this case, it's like one is looking this way and the other is looking that way, like looking at you almost. So I do want to say, like, with this being said, I really feel like in the sense, in this, it's like sacred masculinity and the sacred fires that are within. It's like some of you are purging that. So for some of you that... um that are having trouble with being intimate and intimacy issues, this is what you're meant to work on. Relating to other people and relating to yourself and how you find yourself moved freely and to feel sexy and, and to feel liberated and, and to feel new, you know what I mean? To, to begin again. And just know that on the sacredness of this, like for those who want to try this, please do it with respected people but if you are going to open yourself up to this transformation sometimes using healing techniques or even um certain aspects that get in touch with your feminine side and into your body if you know what I mean tongue in cheek because we're not going to go there Th this is just saying like there is innocence in this and this is okay like really there is innocence in this is connecting to your di divine feminine and finding your your sex like your sexuality because that's huge and stop repressing it like stop repressing and like when I'm saying this I kind of feel like a tightening so some of you kind of feel like oh no I can't I can't I can't some of you you need to do this because there's no holding back like if you can't open yourself up then how are you going to relate to other people, even in non-intimate issues? That's just where this is going. So any last messages? Any last messages? Look, just, just be innocent, you know? The, the divine inner child is coming through and reclaim yourself. Start again. Because you know what? It's a time of you. You're conquering your, your evils and you're finding that you are more than powerful and more than capable of, of doing this. So, you know, like, just know that your enemies are, are pulling away. Your enemies are being moved, you know? Like, I'm hearing they're being spooked. So if you're having people leave your life, it's because they're no longer meant to be there. So, like, just know that your guides are, like, fighting behind the scenes. Like, you don't realize that, but your soul is in this. And, like, I'm telling you, like, some of you are protected. And just know that, like, like, I'm hearing hell have no fury until your guides get so pissed off. Like, you are so protected. So, they just want you to live in this moment of peace while they do the hard work and get, you know, their dirty, you know, their hands dirty for you. So, just be thankful and be open to receiving that. And with that being said, 
We have Master of the Hunt. We have the Forsaken Soldier, right? Which is strategy, learning from your traumas and shadow and whatnot. And then we have the Martyr. So it's like being honest with yourself and what you go after and knows that sometimes even through failure and strategy, sometimes it doesn't always work. Sometimes it's never always about the one thing. It's multiple issues. So with this transformation underfoot, what is what is on the other side of this transformation? We have the keeper, right? So we have curiosity, the forbidden knowledge, the internal surveyor. So this is like the wanderer, right? We have fame and fortune, but we also have pride. And then we have Osiris, right? And this is talking about the ability of acquisition and, you know, the supply and the demand of knowledge and commitment. And so this is saying, take a commitment to yourself because people are going to start looking at you differently after this glow up is happening. And I want to tell you at the end of everything, you will be recognized for what you bring and what you come out of this because of the incompleteness and the yearning for to be complete some of you are actually healing and this is what's going to be the best thing to to have right so you have a hunger for life but just know that it's never going to be quenched if you're still yearning so whatever you're yearning for like that is an open wound that you need to feel because some of you feel like life is just sucking you dry um and some of you are just on instinct um, with that being said, like, don't see red, you know, just let it go for some of you who have these thoughts that are just all over the place. Like, it's gonna open you up and, and make you heal. So, like, look, so we have the queen of shadows, we have instability. And with that being said, if you don't open up, you will never be able to relate to people. You will always feel jealous and envious of them. And instead, it's like you're meant to be in a place of n noble quest of justness. And, you know, you have to realize that you were meant for so much more. But like I said, you have to commit to yourself to being reborn. So thank you. Peace, love, and happiness. I love you guys. Thank you.